Hey there, it's Leslie Langdon with Shivers and I have a great tutorial for you today. It is making our own very heart uh, style canvas using lots of red and pink shimmers, spritz and vibes. So I hope you join me and have fun. All right, so we'll be using a canvas that's 11 inches by 14 inches. And what we'll do is put the heart here in the middle with fabric and then we'll go around the edges with gesso. So what I did is I gathered all my uh, pink and red shimmers, just ship them all together so that uh, I save myself, um, you know, the muscle work. <laughs> um, so I've got Pop Art Pink, this is a Vibes. I've got Barn Door and that is a Spritz. I've got Ready or Not, and that is a Vibes. I've got Razzle Dazzle Berry, and that is a Vibes. And we have Cotton Candy. So what I'm going to do is I've um, taken just a regular white cotton fabric. It's flat, um, so that when we stamp on it, we'll get a really good impression as opposed to canvas, which has a lot of texture. Um, so that, that way we'll have a, some really cool images to look at on our heart, not just you know plain fabric. So. What I'm going to do is I, I've, you know, pieced them out as if I'm going to cut a heart out later so I have enough fabric to work with. And I'm going to spray each one a different color. Start with this one. So this is cotton candy and I'll spray a couple with cotton candy. I'm not worried if I get some on the other pieces because you just add to the color that way. So this is Razzle Dazzle Berry. You'll notice this is going to be a lot bolder. I'll do a nice big one here. All right, maybe one here. Okay, then I'll take Ready or Not. So this is a nice red color. It's more red than uh, than the darkest pink. You know, it's it's really hard to get a good red, but this this is a really good red. Okay, I might spray this one here too. So next we have Pop Art Pink. Oh. Sometimes when you try and spray downward it doesn't work that well. So just lift up your piece and spray head on. Okay, so this is Barn Door. So I think I'm going to go back and use some Razzle Dazzle Berry just here and there. So we've got a nice assortment of colors here. This will make up our heart. So we'll let that dry and then we'll come back to do some stamping. Alright, so now all our pieces have dried and you can see that I started stamping on some of my uh, pieces of fabric. I'm using a Unity stamp set and I'm also using Stays On uh, Jet Black. Alright, so there's the Stays On product. And here is the stamp set that I'll be using from Unity. It's called Just Be You. Okay, so I'll be using bits and pieces of it. I've already stamped two. This cool kind of crown and then this sentiment that I just showed you. So I'll keep on um, looking at the other ones. Here's a cute one. It says just be you. So I'll just go ahead and find a piece that that would fit on like this nice light pink one. And I like to ink my stamps while they're on the block and sitting on the table. Okay. Press firmly. You should get a nice impression there. Just be you. So if you can imagine what our heart is going to look like, we'll have um, not every piece I want to stamp on, but I want to stamp on pieces here and there. Um, so I'm going to keep on, on doing that and then we'll come back and we're going to be ready to start pasting the, the heart together. So this is the general concept I have going on and what I want to uh, do now is paste this 
heart together, so glue the fabric down to the back of the canvas, or, or the front of the canvas, and then put a layer of Mod Podge on top. And then what I want to do is then decorate around here, and I was thinking that blue would be nice. Okay, so I've got here some Mod Podge. Um, so the reason why I use stays on ink is because it won't run. So if I like everything where it is, I'm just going to apply a layer down on the bottom and then I'm going to coat over top of these pieces of fabric and I'm going to saturate them. I'm not going to worry about the um, all these fluffy pieces. So you might have to temporarily remove you know, some of your pieces of fabric. Just take a mental note of where they were and hopefully it'll all come back together like you had envisioned. Okay. Alright, so just be generous with this Mod Podge. Okay, because you want this to stay down. Okay, the wetter it is, the better. Okay, and flatten it out too. Okay, you can see there that um, the ink isn't running, which is nice, because that is not what we want. I believe that was there. Either way, you know, if it's not as you had pasted before, no worries. It's still going to look good. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this. And the video should magically reappear when I am done this process. Alright, here we are. It's miraculously put together. So, I'm just going to take uh, you through this process just of applying one more coat of the Mod Podge um, to all the pieces of fabric. This will just ensure that it all stays down and adhere to the canvas. Okay, so don't be shy because this dries clear. Um, I have, um, I'm actually using a matte finish so it won't be that glossy, but you know, Mod Podge sells some product that you could buy that has shimmer in it and that has uh, a glossy finish or, or whatever whatever glue you would like to use that dries clear you can use okay all right so the next step is to go over this canvas with some gesso paint um, and we'll do that around the edges and we'll actually Kind of come in a little bit here and form our heart a little better than it's you know looking like a square choppy heart we'll fix that okay so here comes the gesso part i'm using this claudine helmuth uh, studio paint and this is from ranger so i'm just going to go around the edge try and go in and make this appear more like it's a rounded heart at the top. Okay. And do the same on this side. It's going to go over that fabric a little bit. And I'll come back and I'll do a couple coats like that. And then we will work with our shimmers, spritz, and vibes to really um, make a blue background and it'll make the art pink and red hearts stand out that much more. Okay? Okay, I'm back. And this is the next day. And the heart is completely dried, so there's no more um, of the Mod Podge wet on it anymore. So you can see we have a nice, cool heart. This has been applied with one coat of gesso, so now it's time to apply the second coat, which will be thicker. It will give us more um, texture when we go and spritz it with the, with the blue shimmers. 
Okay, so all you need to do now, second coat, and then we will come back and shimmer it. Now we're ready to do our spritzing and our spraying. So I have three colors here, three different colors of blue. I have Sea Foam, Jenny B. Bleu, and Eucalyptus. Okay, so give them all a shake. I'm actually going to start with my Jenny B. Bleu, and that's going to spray most of the outside. And then I'll use these other colors just to fit in the, the rest. Okay, so I want to avoid spraying on top of the heart, so I just have a blank piece of paper here, a scrap. And I'm going to cover the best I can the heart. And I'm going to squirt around here. Okay. I'm going to do this side. Okay. Looking pretty good. Um, I want to do a bit of the bottom here, so I'm just going to cover that. There we go. Maybe get a little closer on this side. Okay. that up, let's see how we're doing. Okay, so then I'll kind of continue doing this and using my Jenny B. Bleu, and I'll spray around the top of the heart. Got to be careful when moving this because that still needs some drying time. Okay, so you can just kind of use this as you go around. Be careful here. Okay, so far so good. Have your um, workspace covered with paper so you don't get that dirty. And one final piece here. Okay. So there it is so far. Do you see all that texture coming up? from the gesso, or gesso, however you pronounce it. I'm not sure. I still have not looked that one up. <laughs> okay. So there you have it. We do have some bleeding going on here. So you can just take a baby wipe, because this is not dry yet. It takes a while, and you can wipe that off. All right, next I'm going to take my eucalyptus, my spritz, and I'm going to spray in the corners. just gives a different color. Okay, I'll spray in the top corner as well. Okay, maybe around the side a little bit. All right, I like that look. Maybe I'll go even a little darker. I'm going to go get some of my licorice. So I'm going to go for my licorice spritz and uh, Spray it here and there. Oh, that's neat. A little bit more at the side. Okay. Maybe up at the top of the heart here. Cool. Okay, I'm going to leave that and let it dry. And it might dry a little lighter than you see now. So when we come back, then that's when you can decide whether you want to add more color because once you layer the colors, it does get darker and darker. So since this is our first application of spritz, I'll let it dry and then I'll come back. All right, so you can see now we've had the one coat of spritz on here. I'm going to go ahead and spray a little more blue. I'm going to focus it on the outside, so I'll use the Jenny B. Bleu. Okay, I'm just going to lighten up the corners and sides. Maybe here a bit. Okay, so I'll stop there. Yeah, I'll put one in the corner. All right, that's looking nice. I think I want to stop there with the colors. Then I'm going to go on and continue to embellish this, and you will see the end result. All right, so I'm back, 
and I have done a lot of embellishing here and I wanted to show you just one final thing um, that I discovered as I was going. I really wanted to make this, um, to make that texture really stand out. So what I did is I applied um, a silver marker over top of some of the textured parts. Okay. So that was the last and final step in the technique on the gesso part. So I'll show you what I used, this metallic pen. So it's called Metallic Painter's Medium. You can use a gold leaf pen as well, so gold or silver um, leaf or metallic pen. And just, you know, all you do is really just draw over the parts that are sticking up. You're kind of bringing it out like it's embossing. Okay? So it looks pretty cool. All right, I'll take some photos of this, which you'll see in the next part of the video. Create art from the heart. Okay, bye-bye.